Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video my mom and I are making a resin beach clock out of a mold. After mixing our part A and part B resin for about 3 to 5 minutes, we separate it into smaller cups. I'm going to be adding Depon's alcohol ink in the shade Intense Teal and my mom starts to apply some clear resin onto the bottom of the mold. This is where our pebbles are going to be in our beach scene and I start with applying just a few drops of the alcohol ink into my resin. And I have a second cup, one where I'm adding more of the alcohol ink and one with less. My mom uses a silicone makeup brush to spread the resin and to make sure that it's reached the edges of the mold. While I mix the alcohol ink into the resin. These are the small rocks that my mom's going to be adding and I'll find similar products and put affiliate links in the description below so check that out if you're interested. She adjusts the placement of the rocks with the makeup brush and adds a little bit more of the clear resin. She spreads out the resin towards the center and then adds a second type of small white rocks into the molds. And I take my cup that has more drops of alcohol ink and start to pour it at the top of the mold. And my mom continues adding more small white rocks and adjusting their placement. I decided to add a few more drops of the alcohol ink to make it darker and poured that at the top as well. Then I pour the lighter shade of the alcohol ink mixed with resin right below. And I'm using the silicone makeup brush to blend the resin together. To push back some of the blue pigmented resin that has now gone over the small rocks, my mom is pouring some clear resin along the shoreline. And we make some small adjustments. Lastly, I'm using a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and make sure that you're moving it quickly so that you don't burn your resin or your silicone mold. And one day later, here is me demolding. I'm flipping it to the back side so that I can add liquid latex around the edges. I'm doing this to protect the back of the soon to be clock so that when I pour resin out of the mold and it flows over, it will cure onto the liquid latex and easily peel off. I just added some into a small cup and poured it in a circle close to the edges. Then I'm using my makeup brush to spread it and bring it to the edges. And here's what it looks like when it's dried. Now I'm propping it onto four cups so that when I add the resin it will just flow off over. And I'm mixing my part A and part B resin again for a few minutes. And I separate it into two cups, one for clear resin and one to add the white pigment. 
I'm using Just Resin's pigment paste in the shade Titanium White and I make sure to mix it well in the container before I take some onto my wooden stick and add it into my clear resin. I mix the pigment in well for a few minutes and then I take my cup with the clear resin and I pour it onto my beach scene and I'm pouring it only in the blue ocean area and not on the rock area and this will cause for a 3D wave effect. I'm using my makeup brush to make sure that the resin has covered the whole area and then I go in with the torch gun to pop any air bubbles. And I begin to apply my white pigmented resin on the shoreline. My mom points out that I should add some near the center, so I pour a little bit of the white pigmented resin there as well. And I spread it out with the wooden stick. Using a heat gun, I blow out the waves. I decided to add a little bit more of the white pigmented resin and blew that out as well. Now I'm touching up the shoreline and also removing some small fibers that have gotten into the resin. Once the resin has cured, we're able to measure where the center is and drill a hole for the mechanism. And here's a small clip of me adding the mechanism. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.